Okay, this is like my millionth time trying to record a video. It is so much harder than it should be. But let's get started. So on my vlog today, we're going to figure out how to create a root user on AWS, as you can see here, Amazon Web Services, it's like their cloud stuff, and then create an IAM user underneath the root user. Hopefully that'll make sense by the end of this video. So first we're gonna want to go to your local web browser, go to AWS, and uh, create a new account. And I've already done this, so I'm not going to do it again, but basically you just enter your email, password, you know, it's self-explanatory, it's very straightforward. It's going to ask you for some credit card information for free tier access, and it's going to charge you a dollar, but that's all it charges, trust me, I've been using it for a while. And it gives you free tier access for a year if that's what you sign up for, so, yeah, if you're not comfortable with that, then there are other more limited ways, but you shouldn't be worried about it, so... I just go for it. But anyways, once you have that done, there shouldn't be any problems, but if there are, just comment or slack me or something, and we'll figure it out. Anyways, then you log in. Hold on, let me do it with you. So this is your root user. Right there is the account owner, the main account, the big um, umbrella guy. So you are going to type in the address email address you used and then the password and from here you're going to go to IAM which is going to be right here under all services this is your management console this is where you can access all the things that it has to offer whether that applies to future or not you have to figure that out anyways you go to IAM and then you're going to want to create a new user so I already have one because that's me and this one's going to be a new one that we're making for this video. So we're going to name him Zaphod. Hey, Chuck has got the galaxy, anybody? And then create a new password, 1234, QWERTY. Nice and simple. And then we're not going to require a password reset because that's if you're giving this user to someone else and they need to create their own password. We are ourselves, hopefully. So we don't need to do that. We know our password. So then we're going to create a group. And this is determining what kind of access this user will have. So we're going to give it administrator access. So that'll just allow it to do everything. As it says, provides full access. And the rest of these, it just gives access to specific things based on what you want. I don't know what most of them do, but you can read them if you want. But yeah, we're going to create an administrator on this IAM user. Oh, and we need to enter a name. So let's call it Space Force. That'd be fun to join, wouldn't it? And then we're gonna go next. Don't need any tags, review. There's all the info, it's right. We're gonna create the user. So this next step is really important. You need to keep track of these keys. It's like your it's like your login info. It's you're not gonna find it anywhere else. You need to copy it down now somewhere. So I already have one, so I'm just gonna put it in this text edit. I'd recommend you put it somewhere more permanent and secure. Unless you really like text edits, then go ahead. But anyways, you're gonna copy those down and then you're all done with that. So now, if we go back to AWS, we should be able to log in as that new user we created. So let's sign out again. This is our root user account, remember? And we want to sign in as our IAM user, which is the root user is his administrator or her or it or whatever. So you're gonna enter the access key, not the secret one, the normal one, and because remember there's two access keys, one's secret, one's normal. So we're gonna enter the normal one here for I am user. And wait, and then enter his username, so Safod, then one, two, three, four, QWERTY, sign in. And now you're on this new management console that is your user, and from here you'll be able to create a bunch of databases and connect to those databases with your access keys on IDEs and there's just a lot, a lot you can do, and this location will be important later. We'll discuss that in a later video. For now, this is all we're going to do. Uh, that's all. See ya.